Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Most Ball, and I'm super, super happy that season two is finally over, man. We ready for season three. We've been locked in. We've been waiting. We can't wait. We really can't wait. It's about time, man. It's about time. So this video, if I made it the way that I wanted it to be, was going to be like 70 hours long. It was going to be the longest video ever. And I decided to go against it because I played way too much unlimited, way too much. It was a crazy unhealthy amount in one day. I literally got 7,500 unlimited points since yesterday. A lot, a lot of hours of gameplay I was going to edit through. And after thinking about it, careful review, it just doesn't make sense. If I look at any more unlimited, I'm going to break something. I'm going to beat somebody up. So I decided I'm just not going to do it. We're going to be playing a lot of unlimited in season three anyway. So I apologize. If you've been in the streams, you've been watching the gameplay anyway. Otherwise, you won't see too much. There's some gameplays I do want to show. So maybe I'll show it another time in the future. But who knows? I probably won't. All of season three, I will do my absolute best to keep up all the VODs on Twitch. So Twitch has been deleting them because of music purposes. But I'll make sure to put them back up. Even if it mutes certain parts, I can probably do that. So all of season three, expect them to be there. So if you missed the stream, you can go back and watch it at any point. You can see all the gameplay, all that. So before we get started and open our boxes and all that stuff, let's go ahead and finish this up to get another option pack thing. So grade five cards and apply five shoes. Let's make that happen. Honestly, I'm not in the mood to like look through shoes, make shoes or anything like that. So I'm just going to apply random shoes and they're all going to the same player like the same two players can hold the same shoes over and over again just so i could finish up the five just like that done and for the grading we're throwing in three golds and then three more golds honestly we need to grade five so i'll take that 10 percent discount and i always grade cards that are pullable or whatever in the future so if i ever do get them i can swap and we get the west on sub with that said i know i said i was gonna clear this whole thing for you guys before season three i know i said that so we have some good packs we have some un known random bummy packs for sure there are definitely some bummy packs i want to see how many packs total i will save the sapphires i'm probably not opening all of them we have 88 packs in there total i had to back out to check so i'm gonna do all that and i'm gonna show you guys the final box we got from unlimited we found out we're gonna be playing a lot of unlimited season three in order to get hakeem we saw what we had to do and it is not going to be fun. It's not going to be pretty. I also have a really special way I'm going to be doing this recap, man. We got a wild recap of games played, most minutes. Nah, not most minutes. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Most points scored, most this, most that. We have a lot to talk about and discuss. I'm excited. I'm doing it kind of different format. My spreadsheet going crazy. A lot of time goes into it, so I hope you guys enjoy, and we can look back at a great, great season. We honestly have a lot of bases, man. Way too many bases. All right, let me actually clear up space, and then we'll come back to all these packs when they're kind of all in order. It sucks that these are literally getting quick sold. Like, at least we make an MT. I really believe we could get to 850 kmt before the next season i think we can make that happen that's mad funny we pulled back to back gary payton's and i'm gonna swap that for 900 thank you i just opened way too much like i don't even know bro like we just got mad shoe boost we just got mad whatever and there's still a billion packs in here i didn't even notice i had that many emeralds i don't know where those came from i'm just gonna open them and quick sell them i said i was only keeping sapphires all right i said that i said that i said that as we get a bronze ball and devin bookie 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 i don't gotta swap so we're gonna add that to the exchange for another pack because the more the merrier y'all thought i was playing with this mt total i'm not it's serious we going up quick man quicker than y'all think i know i'm getting golds and it looks like i'm not getting anything for them but each swap making moves not really i'm kidding you know it's bad though when i have so many shoe boosts i keep selling for five mt it's really really bad and i'm actually thinking about it i might i might open all these sapphires at this rate there is one sapphire we're obviously looking for i just don't expect us to ever 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 pull them and i hate these cards that go for 400 how are on like that doesn't even make sense that's how you know that 60 percent thing is flawed like seriously like super super flawed now there is something i want to say and that is, I'm still upset about myself. Like, I, I really did a bad job this season. Like, there were so many agenda cards I did not grind for that I was supposed to. And I just, I don't even know if I gave up. I just forgot. It really was just a bunch of forgetting. Like, I missed out on, like, two rubies. 
I missed out on this and that, and I just should be better as I want a Cam Reddish, but not a gold one. Like, definitely not a gold one at all. Oh, this is getting bad, man. Bad, bad, bad. We have way too many majestic bases. I wonder if I'll pull one card from any of these. Like, is it possible? Will it happen? Well, we thankfully got 900 for him. Come on, come on, come on. Keep giving me 900 for players. That's I don't mind that. I really do not. We also got to, like, take into consideration the badges. The badges are going to be clutch, man. We need all those. We need to rejuvenate, restack up all our badges. And I don't know why they're mainly majestic bases. We ended up pulling an Emerald Drew Holiday. So that's another Sapphire. Why'd I just do that? Y'all probably mad at me, bro. I would be so mad at myself. Like the fact that I have a billion of these, that's atrocious. Come on, 2K, stop with these random majestic bums. We do get 924 for Kobe from that though. 924. Are you majestic or are you not? That is the question. And I am not because that's an emerald bill. I don't think I ever bought any of the emeralds. So those are all getting quick sold for whatever terrible, terrible price. Let's open up a sapphire, man. I might actually just go through these. I'm going to be upset tomorrow, though, when the exchange is looking good. And I'm like, no, I should have kept them. No type vibes because that's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. Majestic Deluxe should have saved this for one of the only deluxes because I actually messed up on a deluxe. Hey, we got Sander. So that's 1680. MT go crazy. We just broke that 800K barrier. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I might actually make it to 900. I have faith in the system, especially when you quick selling stuff for 600 MT. You know it's happening. I was made for this, by the way. I didn't notice I had more shoe boosts. But I literally, literally, literally was made for this. I was doing this way before y'all were able to do this, man. The No Auction Out series prepared us for this. You saw that Limitless badge we pulled too? Big gold Limitless. Let's go ahead and open up our perfect build option pack. That's how you know I'm wrapping this up. We have a choice between five Amethyst, five of them things. And there's only one guy I'm going with. And that is Big Mark Gasolina. And I'm a Gasolina. The reason I went with Mark so I could lock in for Kwai. We do get a Bobby Jones. One of the guys I don't have in that set as well is Bobby Jones. And we do end up getting him in not tomorrow, but the day after. So Saturday, I should have that. And oh, if it would have shook right there, that would have been too crazy, too wild as we get Larry Nance Jr., who I can swap. Give me my 4K. Thank you. Now, we do have two option pack for the tournament battles. I'll show you guys who I'm going to pick. Honestly, I do not care. Now, obviously, this is a great, great choice because he goes to diamonds. He goes to diamonds as well. Two diamonds. Caleb Good. It's like so many amazing beautiful choices but the guy i'll choose is the guy that didn't win any games mr pat williams the reason being is so i can buy the other guys whenever i feel like it and evil them and then be able to use them for future exchanges or future things like that yes i could have got a free diamond but i wasn't going to keep them anyway i'm not like that so that's my game plan obviously you can always go like this is probably the best card here when it comes to the west I would say definitely for sure. Malik Monk is obviously a good option as well. There's good options. I'm not going to say there isn't. But I'm out here showing love to the guys that don't win, man. Let's give them some love. We get 10 more shoe boosts because I didn't have enough. You feel me? I needed more. The more, the merrier. The more, the merrier. I heard lateral quickness got fixed up. So we're going to take that. And we have one more to go. A blocker driving dunk. Let's go ahead and... Ah, should even take ball handling. Bro, I still have more? What the? I thought we were done, bro. I thought we were done. There we go. Now we're done. Thank you. Now, I know I said I would get rid of the emeralds too, but I will wait till tomorrow's exchange. I promise they're gone. Just consider them gone next season. Consider they won't be here. Let's just wait and see what the exchange is looking like. With that said, let's go ahead and use up our tokens. Yes, we got tokens for days, man. I don't know if I want more shoe boosts. I think I'm good with the shoe boosts, personally. I didn't get any of these prize balls, and I'm thankful I didn't. What we will do, though, is we're going to take three pairs of Grinches. Well, six pairs, sorry. Three open Grinches. So that's going to be six pairs total. That's going to be fire. I already have so many players with Grinches, and it's just going to be more and more. And I don't think I'm going to open the prize ball. I don't think it was good. I don't think I'm taking any more shoe boosts either. What I'm going to end up doing, no questions asked, none of that. And this is a beautiful shoe. Time out. Speed, strength, speed with ball. Nice. I might not have to change too much on that one. Sold out Grinches. And we have 15 more of these bad boys. I don't need nothing else. Trust me. 
That's a total of 45 badges, 15 bronze, 15 silvers, and 15 golds. You might get lucky. There's a lot of badges I'm missing when it comes to gold, when it comes to silver. I've been kind of trying my best to badge my guys. Like, I really, really do. And we're going to capitalize on this. With that said, there's two more things that are going to happen in this video. Let me show you guys that 10 pack deluxe of the lift offs. Let's see if I pulled anything from there. Let's see what happens. And then we will be back to take a look at everything we've accomplished as well as all the best players out there. There's a lot of great players. And honestly, while I'm here, I could probably discuss all the modes that we finished. So obviously we finished salary cap all three times. That was a good one right there, man. Workhorse, gold, silver, limitless. But we finished salary cap all three times, but only up to 1500 points, which was enough for the players. I never went all the way and I plan to try my best to go further next time. That's my goal. It's a goal of mine. We'll see if I can make that happen. We obviously reached level 40 really, really fast. This was probably one of the fastest times I've hit level 40 without a doubt. We finished up unlimited last day. I'm not doing that again. I like I said, I played 7500 points, 7500 in one day pretty much 24 hours and that's just way too much it just doesn't make sense it shouldn't happen like that like i should not play that many games i should not do all that especially with the way 2k does it where i can't quit out of games y'all seen i've been spamming them like that's not cool bro I, I should be able to quit out of a game if i don't want to play it that's just me and yeah we obviously got the grand prize in sga i felt like we got in pretty early i didn't play any mode too too far like i didn't feel like there was a need to go crazy we did get the gauntlet done day one i was proud of myself that we got joe johnson really really quick i think our team is absolutely insane in the membrane especially for a no money spend account like the fact that we got Giannis, we were able to get lebron like that stuff is crazy and we still have a lot a lot of empty so you might be asking how why where what do you do and honestly i just play this game a lot we finished up both dominations early so we were stacking that up i don't keep too many cards i don't need and that brings us to the fact that i'm going to try to get to 900k today i will try to do that in this episode as well so there's a lot that's going to go down today this is not over yet trust me and I'm really, really excited for tomorrow. That, like, you better believe it. Lift up the lux, man. I did all that for this. And let me just tell y'all right here, right now, I'm positive it was not worth it. I'm positively positive. But let's let's hope for the best. Let's see what happens. Let's get straight into it. All right. We made a mistake on that ruby earlier that we put in the wrong place. So we still have the ruby exchange. We have a lot of things. Hopefully, hopefully. I I'm hoping. I'm hoping we get some pulls, man. I'm expecting a lot of this. A lot of Luke Longleys. I'm expecting just that straight up. What if we get enough to lock in Tim Duncan right here? Imagine, imagine. I think I have some swaps with some of the higher tier guys from the Mellow set. If I could pull any of that. But I'm not expecting, obviously. I'm just expecting, like, bums at the end of the day. It's going to be straight bum did bum bum bums. Yes, Sapphire is looking good to start. Next, we get another Emerald. Back-to-back -back Emeralds. Murray, I don't... I should have checked who I was missing from the Timmy set. Not that I'm locking in for Tim, but I might be locking in for Kwai. So maybe I lock in for Tim, and maybe they're a duo that we use somewhere, someplace, as I'm definitely not pulling anything from this. This was the worst decision. If I make 5k from this box, I came up. But to be fair, to be fair, to be honest, like, I just pulled three or four Ryan Hollins, man. The good news is... The good news is, oh my, oh my, Amy, let's go. What a save. I needed that. I needed justification for anything we just did. I think I have like one or two Amys that are unsellable. Please be Finley. No. Oh, that's Glenn. All right. Man, I wanted Finley so I could swap because I had one. But it's all good. Glenn, the Tim Duncan set lock in. Let's get it. Let's get it. Welcome to the team, Glenn. Good clutch, man. That was not a bad, bad pull right there. That was not a bad pull at all. I, I yeah, Did it make it worth it? Probably not. We pulled a bunch of nonsense at the end of the day. We got one Sapphire. I'm going to check if I could swap. Nope. So we'll go ahead and add. Oh, my gosh. I hate when I click things too fast, bro. I don't even know what I just got. I just clicked add all to exchange. And we're going to get a coach award. We're going to get a badge. As if I didn't have enough packs already. Thank you for the Majestic. Couldn't even quick sell and make anything out of that. That was disgusting, but we're going to go look at our Season 2 liftoff set. And wow, all I'm missing is D-Will. It's only fitting. Uh, D-Will is all I needed for Tim Duncan. And then I could lock in both. And yeah, it just makes sense. It really does. You know, honestly, 
if having both Melo and Tim got us Michael, I probably would do it. Other things that were accomplished, we're at 11 rings. So we're not going to be able to get Bill Russell tomorrow. Some people will be able to get him. I am not one of them. We'll have to wait one more time in order to do that because we did miss a ring on one weekend. We are caught up in collector level. We'll be able to get the next two collector levels when they drop, hopefully tomorrow. That includes Tony Kukoc, the diamonds, and then we'll see what happens after that. We've been pretty caught up in a lot of things, honestly, like for the most part. Triple threat offline, we made it a lot further than I usually do, which is 150 wins. I didn't feel the need to keep going after that, so I was content and fine where I was. Clutch offline, I stopped at wherever I'm at right now, which is 60 or whatever. That was cool. That was enough for me. We did all our challenges. We did all our spotlights. I did the signature challenge yesterday. I'm going to do the activity challenge. Maybe I think I'll knock this out. It's a five minute pro game. I'll do it maybe a little later tomorrow. If I have time, if not, probably don't care enough to actually make that happen. I told you guys about salary cap clutch online. We are technically five games away from another door. I might make that happen. I'm not positive, but I'm satisfied where I ended up too. Didn't make it to the end this time, but it's cool. Triple threat online. I'm 10 wins away from 10K. But once again, I do not care. It's not happening. I sold on co-op. I wanted to go further this year or this season. And it's just way too far. I should have probably got the last three wins for the 10K here. I will keep saying if I could, I would and all that. But I'm probably not going to be able to do any of that stuff. And overall, not a bad season at all. I think we did a lot. The team looks absolutely, absolutely insane. And that brings us to our next point. Let's quickly look at this just so you guys see how I have it set up. Our spreadsheet, it has all the players based on games played. They're ranked in order from most games played in AD, then Chris Bosh, then B-Roy. I color coded who leads what category. First place is yellow. Second is green and orange is third. So you can see here how it goes. I will show you guys it in a better manner though. Let's go ahead and look at each player individually instead of this. I know it's too much to follow, but it shows their overall points. It shows their overall rebounds, overall assists, steals, blocks, and their field goal percentages, three free throws. I added every player that played at least 40 games. If you played 40 games, you're here. Season one, I cut it off at around 20. So we'll keep upping up the stakes a little bit so some guys don't make it next time. But look at Joe Johnson. I had to add him because we grinded all that time for a guy that played 10 games. How sad, how terrible, how uh is that? But let's take a look at this in a whole different manner, a way we've never done this before. AD, our leading games played, man. This isn't the same card I was using. This one has no shoe. I was able to swap once I got the free one that they made available. Now, this is his stats on the side. I wrote down his points, his rebounds, his assists, all that stuff right there so you guys can see it. And he has the most rebounds for us in 2K24 so far with the 1,402. 1,402 rebounds. He's also number one in blocks with 190. He's only averaging 0.5, but 190 is big time. And... He has 114 steals, which is third, well, tied for third, and that's big AD, man. He's a defensive juggernaut. He shot the ball pretty well, man, over 44% from three, 66 from the field, and his free throw percentage could have been better, but at 73%, I ain't mad at it. Next up, we got Mr. Chris Bosh, man. He's definitely passing AD this season. AD hasn't been playing for us, so obviously he's coming right there. He's six games away from him, so he's going to get that out the way. He's also leading our team overall in rings. Yes, I do have a rings list where I keep track. He currently has eight rings, which is more than anyone else by far. AD only had six, so that's something to keep into account. And Bosch is second in a lot of things. He's second in points. He has 2,611 points along with 1,343 rebounds. He is second in blocks with 149. And then his percentage is way better. He's shooting a really good free throw percentage with 84.7%. He's also 50% from three. The fact that he's at 50% with that many games played and all that, I think that's great. Third most games played is B-Roy. He only gained about 80 games in season two. Could have been a lot more. He was leading the way in season one pretty much, right? He was right there. He was second, right behind Kyrie Irving 
who's literally fourth. So they both barely made it up. They just kind of stood there. I definitely played a lot less in season two than I did in season one. Since now I'm living in Egypt, it hasn't been the same. When I was in the States, I was able to rock a lot more games out. But B-Roy is third in points per game. He's averaging nine points per game. However, he does have the most points scored. He has almost 3,000, a little bit under. But I don't think he's even... He might break it. He might hit 3,000, but he's not going much higher. He is also third in assists. The fourth guy is one assist off. I'll tell you guys who that is in a second, and that is actually SGA. SGA is at 730 assists. This man's at 731. So that's kind of cool to look into. And he's my leading free throw percentage guy. He's shooting 91.7% from the free throw line, which is beautiful. If you're shooting over 90% for me with that many points, I know I could rely on you. I'm going to start speeding this up a little bit. I don't know how much you guys are going to enjoy looking at this. If you're enjoying it as much as me, we'll do this every season because I kind of enjoy looking at this stuff. So let me know if you guys are into it. Kyrie is third in points scored with 2,107. Like I said, he's barely played any games. Let me actually check. How many games he's played he's played about 30 games since season two started like he's not here anymore it sucks it is what it is and it just is what it is literally but he still happens to be first in assists and assists per game so he's at 4.2 assists per game there's three guys that literally have the same assists per game which is wild to me they all average 4.2 We'll talk about them now because I doubt I'll get to it later. But De'Aaron Fox and James Harden are both at 4.2. The only player there that still plays consistently is James Harden. So he either is going to go up and break them or go down. We'll see if other point guards come through, take over. De'Aaron kind of plays on my salary cap team from here to there. But I don't know if he's going to go up. Who knows? And also Kyrie is first in steals. He has 120 steals. And he's second in free throw percentage with the only other player with 90% from the free throw line. 90.2 exactly that's beautiful stuff next up we got d wade he's second in assists all time which is wild he hasn't played in a long long time he's fourth in games played but his numbers haven't been going up i'm gonna talk about the guys who are coming up because literally not too many of them are close right now they're all kind of far we'll take a look at that on the spreadsheet personally but he is also tied for second in steals with 114 and yeah, that's pretty much all y'all need to know about D-Wade since his numbers aren't moving up any way, shape, or form. Now, this man right here, Jaron Jackson Jr. has six rings total because of his Ruby and his Emmy, right? Combined six rings, but he hasn't been playing much. Now, one of them usually plays on my salary cap lineup. The Amethyst, however, barely has games played, but the Ruby does have a good amount of games played. He's still up there in a lot of statistical categories. He is third in rebounds. I know that's getting, he's not going to be there next season, but it's good to note right now. He's third there. He's also third in blocks and third in blocks per game. So that's something to note. There's actually five guys averaging half a block a game. But yeah, I don't think his stats go up unless he continues to make our salary cap team. We'll have to see how that goes moving forward. Whenever I'm done running this Jaron Jackson and the other one, I'm down to look at their individual stats and then add them all together and find their new average, new everything. But I doubt I will do that anytime soon. Now, based on our sheet moving down, these guys don't really have anything they're leading in statistically. But we do see a guy that actually plays a lot, which is S. SGA. He's at 178 games played. I know his stats are going to jump up. Like I said, assist per game, he's at 4.1. He's right there too. So I could see him like passing these guys. He's going to pass B-Roy in assists after one more game. He, all he needs to do is get two assists and he takes over that third spot. I expect him to break a thousand assists next season. He's still my PG1 right now. There's no point guard a little bit higher than him. And the cool thing with SGA that I didn't notice before, look at his three point percentage. That's actually insane. He's shooting 56.3% from the three-point line. That's a wild stat line. His free throw percentage is great. He shoots a lot of free throws for us. So I really, really love that. Next up, we got Brent Berry. Brent Berry plays so many games. He's my main man in salary cap. He's been doing his thing. And now we get to LeBron James. I highly, highly doubt LeBron is this low next season. He's pretty much the guy we invested everything into, right? He's supposed to be that guy. He's leading everybody in points per game when it comes to online play. He's at 10.9 points per game. He's the fastest to a thousand points when it comes to like how long it took, not in games played, but just actually maybe that too. Who knows? 
but he's up there in rebounds like he's coming for everybody fast he's not gonna lead anybody in rebounds per game or assists per game but i expect his totals to kind of catch up eventually with the game's play type vibes like he might be the first or only guy to hit 1000 in each statistical category last season Kyrie was the first to hit a thousand and a thousand when it came to points and assists a couple guys broke it this time with AD doing it in rebounds Bosch did it in rebounds and then you had D Wade do it in assists as well like obviously with points I'm talking about like 1000 in each at least and now I think LeBron could possibly do it in all three in the long run in the long run he is averaging 0.7 steals per game and not a bad block average either at 0.3 I feel like it could be higher but he's great, great defensively, and I expect him to break a lot of things. Now, honestly, I'm just going to wrap it all up here. Let's do that. PG is right here along the way. I'm just going to take a look at everyone that's coming up. So basically, the guys that play, I should have highlighted them. SGA plays heavy minutes, right? LeBron, PG. Look at Kareem. He plays heavy. He's coming up. He's definitely coming up there. Look at his rebounds per game. He is third in rebounds per game, but like the highest out of all the active players. Like always think if someone lower is there, then they're not really playing. Like Wilt barely played on our team. He was averaging 5.1 rebounds. He was averaging 0.8 blocks, which is the highest we had anyone average block wise, but he hasn't played a lot of games. So it doesn't matter when a guy like Kareem is averaging 4.2 and he continues to do his thing he's gonna climb up the ranks quicker right he's gonna climb up this rebound thing his games played are gonna bring him up so it looks better all that stuff now let's see if he could keep up this block average so he can continue to climb up this chart as well that's gonna be interesting to see from there we can go down to one of the big ones which is the guy averaging 19 points per game and that's because it's an offline guy and that's Kyle Korver who plays triple threat offline for us. I think he plays triple threat offline for so many people. He should obviously be averaging all 21 points per game, but it's not happening right now. But he just hit his first 100 games played. We'll see how that continues. I usually don't let offline guys make these lists, but they are. He's shooting 61% from three, blah, 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 blah. Now, honestly, from there, there's nothing much to show you guys. The only other thing really to note is this Verizal. Can we take a look? This is literally gold Verizal. This is how long it took me to evolve him. 75 games. You can see his points per game or points total. In 75 games, he dropped 15 points, averaging 0.2. His rebounds, pretty high pretty high it's assist blah, blah blah and it took me forever to get the blocks to evolve this man i just don't want to talk about it it is what it is all right at the end of the day it really is what it is from there chet holmgren is still this low he's gonna come up i really didn't like him at first or he doesn't play triple threat for us for example he's not on our clutch time lineup but he has been playing obviously unlimited that's why he's at 71 games played i expect him to come up a little bit too until we get kg Obviously, when KG comes through, Hakeem comes through. I plan to get both those guys. We'll see where this list goes moving forward. Anyone else down here is probably someone from our salary cap team or it has played big time salary cap minutes at any point during our lifespan. And next season, I will up the stakes. I might make it 100 games. Maybe if you play less than 100, you don't make it. We'll have to have a cutoff. We'll see how it goes. I hope you guys like this chart. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll continue to do it for sure and keep like statistically doing our stats at the end of every season but now let's go back into our collection and take care of one more thing we're gonna go ahead and sell julius irving right before he ends up getting any type of more decrease in his price we'll take our 30 000 mt thank you for that and there's actually a player i know for a fact i need to sell i just don't remember what set it was in i think it's season two right here we saw that we pulled glenn robinson could lock in for tim especially if i'm getting quiet but a part of me says you gotta get rid of this Derek anderson he graded really well and 37,000 mt is more important to me thank you for that sale i can buy him for 46 i don't need him now his price might drop some more we'll see and now we're at 870 i'm sure i have a couple more guys i could sell along the way but I would have to look too deep or too much into it. I don't know if I want to. I could sell these guys. I'm sure some of the prices will drop some more. But I'm cool with it the way it is, honestly. At the end of the day, great, great season. We are excited for the next one. We are, we are, we are. There's one card I've been missing for a long, long time. And it is this guy, Damian Lillard. I'm not buying him. I refuse. I will not. Let's give it one more shot right here, right now to end this season on a banger. 
season ends on a bang right here dame time you know what time it is i know what time it is no look no look please say it's him it's definitely tatum or lebron or jimmy it makes sense that's that's a good sign for season three man that's a good sign that's the level 40 reward i'll end there it makes sense it all makes sense i'll see you guys tomorrow it's been an absolute pleasure as always it's been your boy most balling y'all know the drill sorry for the video the way it was hopefully tomorrow we'll have a lot of unlimited to play we need 22,000 points for hakeem i think i'm gonna lock straight into that we'll see how that goes and yeah tomorrow we'll definitely be on that grind again y'all know the drill balling out